Let us take a journey of the historical Nag River of Nagpur, which was known for the pride and civilization of ancient Nagpur, has now become a matter of great concern for Nagpurians for its survival and associated pollution, degradation and loss of environmental resources. The river you are looking at here is a symbol of a flowing, clean and environmentally sound river known as Jam River, which originates from the hills of Chindwara district, Madhya Pradesh and joins Kanhan River at Kampti. The pristine environment and natural flow are clearly visible. The rivers are normally having such features in any part of the earth and we want our Nagpur rivers, Nag, Pili and Pohara, must also have such features of the river. Now let us start the journey of Nag River about its origin, flow path, tributaries, different orders streams, current condition and related environmental issues. It is generally believed that name of Nagpur is on the name of Nag River which is located in eastern part of Maharashtra in India. Sri Bhakt Bhulan Shahji, king of the Gond Empire established Nagpur city, in the year 1702. Various schemes of development related to agriculture, trade and business were planned at that time. A brave general of Sri Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj and the founder of Maratha rule in Nagpur, Raguji Bhonsale had one quarter right over revenue in the erstwhile Warhad region. In 1742, large powerful armies under his commander Bhaskar Ram Kholhatkar swept through Bengal and Odisha. Then Sri Srimant Raguji Bhonsaleji has done significant development works in Nagpur. He has developed water conservation projects of Nagpur and created various ponds, lakes in Nagpur city, for the fulfillment of water requirement for the citizens. Nagpur city has three rivers namely Nag River, Pili River and Pohara River. It is clearly visible from the map that these rivers are originating from lava hills located near Ambazari Ordnance Factory, Amaravati Road, Nagpur. Rivers Nag River and its length is 77.3 km, Pohara River and its length is 36 km, Pili River and its length is 23.3 km. Lakes Govada Lake, Thakur Talav, Wadi Lake, Police Line Talav, Futala Lake, Ambazari Lake, Sonegaon Lake, Pandharbodi Lake, Lendi Talav, Naik Talav, Mangalwari Lake, Gandhi Sagar Lake, Sakardhara Lake, Bharadwadi Lake. Let us see the map of the origin of Nag River Basin that have been prepared using remote sensing, GIS and USGS images, GeoTIFF file. The area of Nag River Basin is around 936 square km and flows more than 77 km from Lava Hills to Savangi, confluence of Nag River and Kanhan River. The Nag River Basin is the portion of land drained by Nag River and its tributaries. It encompasses all of the land surface dissected and drained by many streams that flow downhill into one another. The Nag River probably gets its name due to the serpentine course or meandering. According to the Central Provinces District Gazetteer, the official record-keeping document during the days of the British, recorded Lava Hills as the origin of the Nag River as early as in 1908. In 2012 NMC identified the spillway of Ambazari Dam, Weir as the point of origin of Nag River. The condition of the river is so poor that Nag River lost its heritage status in the year 2000. Deteriorated water quality of the Nag River can be responsible to affect water quality at Gosi Khurd Dam. This river flows across the city and serves as wastewater carrying drainage for the city of Nagpur urban waste pollution. More than 13,000 streams of different orders, up to 7 orders streams, have been found in the basin. Two main tributaries of Nag River are Pili River and Pohara River. The highest altitude of the basin area are Lava Hills, 385 to 390 meters, from where the Nag, Pili, and Pohara River originates. The altitude of Pavangong, confluence point of Nag River and Pili River, is around 280 meters. Altitude of Titur, near to confluence point of Pohara and Nag River, is around 250 meters whereas altitude of Savanagi, confluence point of Nag River and Kanhan River, is around 220 meters. All the streams are flowing from west to east direction. As schematic diagram has been prepared to understand, the path of Nag River, Pili River, and Pohara River. It has been observed that various streams have been originated from the area in and around Lava Hills. Some streams from that area are joining Govada Lake, Hutala Lake, Ambazari Lake and Sonegaon Lake. Pili River is originating from Lava Hills. Nag River is originating from Lava Hills joining Ambazari Lake at Yashwant Stadium Another major stream originates from Lava Hills joining Futala Lake at Yashwant Stadium. 
Then from Yashwant Stadium Nag River flows from Dhantoli, Nandamvan, Pardi, Pavangaon, Powari, Asali, Mahalgaon, Savali, Palsod, Titur, Bhamewada, Navgaon and meet Kanhan River at Swangi, Bhandara. Pohara River originating from Lava Hills joining Sonegaon Lake then Somalwada, Beltarodi, Hudkeshwar, Vihirgaon, Mosi, Khedi, Adaka and meets Nag River at Titur. Pili River originating from Lava Hills joining Govada Lake then Uttam Nagar, Paliti Nagar, Ayapa Temple, Jaffa Nagar, Adarsh Nagar, Nara Road Jari Patka, Nari Village, Takshashila Nagar, Uppar Wadi, Kampti Road and meet Nag River at Pavangong. In the map, it can be seen that Ambazari and Futala Lake are continuously fed by streams coming from Lava Hills. So, it shows that Nag River originates from Lava Hills and merge with Ambazari Lake and Futala Lake. The two major streams coming from Ambazari and Futala Lake meets at Yashwant Stadium and flows as Nag River up to Pavangong. As per District Gazetteer 1908, origin of Nag River is mentioned from Lava Hills. Therefore, we visited the Lava Hills to study the area and observed that various streams are originating and then flowing towards downstream within Nagpur city. It is clearly understood that urbanization has taken place near Lava Hills which ultimately destroyed many streams of the area. An extensive survey of Lava Hills was carried out and the prominent streams have been followed to understand the present condition. Urbanization and stone minings in and around Lava Hills had impacted local environmental resources badly. During the monsoon season, the amount of rain water used to percolate or recharges groundwater in surrounding places is hampered. Post-monsoon groundwater history indicates the level of most of the wells of the area around Lava Hills were found around 1 to 2 meters deep and due to demolition of hills for mankind needs and the surface water of lakes within the Wadi area is observed less surface water quantity. Some of the streams were observed in Mahada Colony. Some of the streams were observed in Mahadev Nagar. Mahada Colony streams and Mahadev Nagar streams joints near Wadi Toll near Gajbe Hospital. Ambazari Water Plant Some of the streams flows through Ambazari Biodiversity Park and meets at Ambazari Lake where some streams flow towards Futala Lake. Water in Ambazari Lake is continually stored from these streams coming from Lava Hills so. The origin of Nag River is clearly visible from Lava Hills, as mentioned in District Gazetteer 1908 also, not as Ambazari Lake. From Ambazari Lake a stream is coming from Ambazari Dam, via to Swami Vivekanand Smarag that flows towards Shankar Nagar, Yashwant Stadium. The map of Ambazari Lake is shown here and it can be observed that various streams are coming from Lava Hill side. Area of Ambazari Lake is 1.524 square kilometers. Futala Lake Some of the other streams which is coming from Lava Hills and join in Futala Lake as can be seen from the map. Area of the Futala Lake is 0.439 square kilometers. So, this is the area behind Yashwant Stadium known as Sangam in Sitabudi of two streams, one coming from Ambazari Lake and other coming from Futala Lake. The temple shown is Sangameshwar Mahadev Mandir constructed in 1789. This is one of very famous temples in ancient time where people were offering puja after taking Bathnag River at Sangam Ghat. The current condition is very bad as rivers are containing mainly sewerage of the city and color of water turns into black is visible. Nag River, Nag River, near Mokshdham, Nag River, Antkhana Square Mahal, Nag River near St. Xavier School. Pili River, from Lava Hills to Pavangong. As can be seen in the map the Govada Lake is continuously fed by many streams coming from Lava Hills so, it can be assumed that Pili River originates from Lava Hills then, joins Govada Lake and flows up to Pavangong, confluence of Pili River and Nag River. Govada Lake 
The map of Govada Lake is shown here and it can be observed that various streams are coming from lava hillside. Area of Govada Lake is 1.580 square kilometers. Govada Dam, Pili River, Govada Road, Pili River, near Itarbhati Road, Pili River, near Blossom School, Pavangang. Confluence point of Pili and Nag River, near Blossom School, Pavangang. Nag River Bridge, after Pavangong, Bhandhara Road, Nag River, near Shivani, Pohara River, from Lava Hills to Titur. The study area of Pohara River is around 237 square kilometers. And, more than 3,500 streams have been observed. The river is believed to be originated from Sonegaon Lake but preliminary investigations reveal that this river is also linked with Lava Hills. Due to encroachment of streams in and around Sonegaon Lake, it was difficult to trace the streams through the available satellite images. Further studies are needed in this regard. Pohara River, Pohara River, near Hudkeshwar Road, Nagpur, Pohara River, near Titur, confluence point of Pohara and Nag River. Nag River, Mathani Chapkadi Road. Confluence point of Nag and Kanhan River Savangi Bhandara. It was observed during field survey that the conditions of all rivers are not good at all. Neither the good amount of water nor the flow of water was observed. Because of containing sewerage mostly in the city area, the color of water turns black. Various studies also indicated that all the rivers, Nag, Pili and Pohara, are in bad conditions, heavily polluted and surviving for their existence as rivers. Urgent need of the time is to understand the environmental conditions of Nag River Basin in detail so as to make effective plans towards rejuvenation of rivers, lakes and groundwater of the basin as well as pragmatic environmental management of natural resources of the basin for better environment. We have also spoken to local people to know about the Nag River conditions in earlier time and current time. <laughs> बाजून गोशी खुर्द च्या खाल घ्याव असं कधी ऐकलं तुम्ही मात दोन तीन वेळा ऐकलं हे कशासाठी ड्राम मधलं पाणी दूषित न व्हायला पाहिजे असं गवर्नमेंटच म्हणणं होत मग आता त्यावर ते करून घेतलं नाही त्यानं बोलले करा पण केलं नाही आणि जे गाव आधी गाव तिकडे होत गाव होत नदी किनारा ते तर तुम्ही जाल ना तिथे हनुमानाचं मंदिर मिळालं गाव म्हणजे किती वर्ष आधी तिथे होत तर बेचाळीस एकोणीसशे बेचाळीस झाले की नाही त्या वर्षीचा पूर झाला त्या वर्षीच्या पुरात जेव्हा तो गाव बसला बेचाळीस पासून मग इकडे आले इकडे आले तर बेचाळीस पासून इकडे आले तर मग एकोणीसशे चौऱ्याण्णव मध्ये पुन्हा हा गाव डुबला हे घराची जागा व्हय हे घराची जागा हे बंडी फिरली हे घराची जागा व्हय मग या घरवाले ना तिकडं 
या गावाच्या वर्तमानाच्या बाजूने आमचं घर पडलं नाही तर आम्ही येतच राहिलो हा प्याच पाणी प्याच पाणी विहीर घेतली आहे इथं विहीर बनवली खोदलेली आहे हा आणि तिथून पाणी इकडे घेत विहीर खोदली म्हणजे नगरपरिषद ग्रामपंचायत ग्रामपंचायत माध्यम ते सामुदायिक योजना आली होती त्या योजने मार्फत ते गेली एकोणीसशे बेचाळीस मध्ये तिकडे गाव होतं मग या विरले गड्डे खोदाचे या विरले नाल्याला गड्डे खोदाचे मग त्याचं पाणी लागलं म्हणजे ते आणून प्यायचं काही देत बरं सांग काढ गेला तसा मग काय झाला तर येते बोर बनवली मग दुसरी एक बोर केली आता हे झाल्यावर विहीर झाल्यावर मग ते तर मोटार फिट केली एक टँक बनवली त्या टँक मध्ये पाणी घेतात आता गावाला देतात बिचाळीस पासून नाही चौऱ्याण्णव झाल्यापासून हे घर बुडायला पासून ना चौऱ्याण्णव मध्ये हे घर चौऱ्याण्णव चार पाच घर पडले होते आमचं घर पडलं होय आता यंदा पडला ते धडी दिसते त्या घराची हे ती सर्व बुडलेली पाणी पूर्ण धारच चालू होती तिकडे सर्वे आले या कोई हो पटवारी लोक कोणी काय काम करणार सफाई पाहिजे कोणी इकडे येत नाही का मग ते नाही जंगलात राहतो कोण तेवढी लक्ष लागते फक्त येते कारण असं आहे या गावात आला तर इकडून वापस जावं लागते इकडे पुढे रस्ता नाही तसा त्यागर गाव इथं जवळच आहे त्या गावापर्यंत जाणं तिथून वापस या तिकडेच रस्ता नाही संगम इथेच आहे हो संगम इथेच आहे जशी पायवाट दिसते की नाही त्या पायवाट दिसते नाही का त्यांनी जातात पण आम्ही नाही 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 तशी हो नाही पायीच जायचं अर्ध्या रात पर्यंत ढिवरो मासोड्या पकडतात ना आता हो रोज त्या गाड्या दोन तर फोटो ढिवरो आला त्याच काही तिकड गाड्या आहेत काही सायकल आहेत रोज जाण्या येण्या करतात काही आता की तरी चार वाजेपासून येतील ते As per news published in local newspapers and communicating with local people the condition of Nag River was good up to 1980 and the citizen were taking bath at that time the floor of the river was also good and depth of the Nag River at Sangam Ghat was around 2 to 3 meters currently Nagpur city water supply is mainly from Madhya Pradesh in case of water scarcity in Nagpur in future and non supply of water from Madhya Pradesh Nagpur city has no alternate water supply Therefore it is high time to protect our water resources to fulfill the demand of good water supply in future. This is also required as Nagpur temperatures is quite hot and moisture balance is needed.